katika nchi yetu ya Kenya tumefika mahali ambapo ni lazima tuambiane ukweli tumefika mahali ambapo ni bagumu atujawai kuwa kwa hii tangu tupate uhuru katika nchi yetu ya Kenya now we have two greatest commandments ever wakati walikuwa wanatafuta uongozi wa nchi walidanganya wa Kenya wakawadanganya mambo ya ushuru wakasema kwamba watapotom up wa Kenya watu ambao tunaita mahasla wamepata uongozi na yale mambo ambao wanafanya sai ni mambo ambayo ni kinyume na yale ambao walikuwa wamesema mimi nataka niwaambie hii mafuta inaongezwa usiku na mchana mimi nataka niwaeleze kwamba these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya kwa hii taxes wanaongeza usiku na mchana na mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa hapa Manga tafadhali mkiona tumesimama hapa mbele yenu tunawaambia ya kwamba tutengeneze hiyo serikali inakuja ambayo inaelewa lugha ya mwananchi wa kawaida one year since they took power life has turned to be so difficult to most of us Kenyans are suffering lakini ile kitu wameamua wafanyie wa Kenya ni kuongezea ushuru wa kila kitu. Wameongeza stima. Wameongeza mafuta. Wameongeza bei ya bidhaa na wanaongeza kila siku. They don't care. To be a president of Kenya is not an achievement. To be in state house is not an achievement. The achievement is what you do to Kenyans. Kwa president si kitu. Lakini ukiwa rais umefanyia nini wa Kenya? Nafanya wa Kenya wanalia usiku na mchana. Wewe kwa sababu unaishi state house ndani ya miti. Uko na kifuli. Uko na chakula. Mafuta unanuliwa na wananchi umesahau sasa unalemasa mwananchi na ushuru wewe ukiwa state of does it mean you don't know the reality outside there when you came into power dola ilikuwa dola ilikuwa ngapi dola ilikuwa kitu karibu 9 shillings sasa hii almost 150 dola You have weakened the Kenyan shilling. Economy ya nchi iko wapi? Na kila siku ni kudanganya wa Kenya. Why can't you tell the Kenyan the truth kwamba nchi mumeshindwa? Mumeshindwa na uongozi. Ulitafuta uongozi kwa kifua kwa nguvu zote na ukanunua uongozi. Sasa umeupata. Now you are hurting Kenyans. Kenyans are crying. The standard of living it must skyrocket. Pia mafuta unapandisha vile unataka. What kind of economy can you build? Wakati unaongezea wa Kenya ushuru ambao hawafanyi kazi, wa Kenya ambao hawajapata kazi kuna production katika nchi yetu sasa unatoa una Kenya ushuru kutoka wapi we cannot bury our hands in the sand never never umefika wakati lazima tuambiane ukweli mali serikali inaenda ni kuagiza these people don't know how to run a government These people they don't know how to govern people. Kitu wanajua wanaota kijoni ushuru 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 tunataka kujenga nchi tunani tunani 
Wewe ukiwa na ngombe unaikamua unaikamua mpaka damu na uipatie hata nyazi. What have you done to the people of Kenya that you want to overtax them? Tell us. Sema. If you want to know the reality, get out of get out of state house. Tembea. Ingia kwa ma supermarket niliona one of the ministers aelewi bei ya bidhaa. Yaani aelewi. Na wakati anaambia ukweli anaanza kukasirika. 